Steve O'D from the 313 wants to know how I like my steak. Medium. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. So today is another episode of RC Randomness. This is my way of showing you what's going on in my RC world and what to expect coming up. Also, two RC Randomness videos ago, I said if you wanted to post a question, please post it and I'll answer it on one of the RC Randomness videos. Well, here's that video. This was a big week on the channel, lots to recap, so I'll dive into it. First things first, got the Grand Hauler in. Really looking forward to this build, very excited about it. This thing looks amazing and I cannot wait to get it together. I was actually going to start working on it the other night, but page one of the instructions, you need the servos. So these Savox SW0231MGs came in. These are waterproof. I picked up two of them. One is for the shift for the transmission. One is for the steering. You might remember too that I picked up a Mamba X with a 1900kV motor. Brushless system for the Grand Hauler. And I don't know what I'm going to do guys. I really don't know what I'm going to do. I've been looking a lot on the multifunction control unit with the sounds, the lights, the shaker. I don't know, all that looks really cool. If I get the multifunction unit, I can't use the Mamba X, which is no big deal. I can use this in something else, but I don't know what to do. So I'm on the fence. We'll see. On the Mud Run video, JD Passel commented, did you enjoy the camera crash? Nope. It was my Nikon 5500. Very expensive camera, and I had a heart attack when the mud truck hit it. The Grand Hauler is going to take me a while to build, so I picked up something that I can kind of do quickly. It's the Subaru Nornberger, the TT02 chassis from Tamiya. So this will be my little build coming up. Very excited about this, and I think it looks awesome. I have an extra Savox 1210 that came out of something, I forget what, but I'll probably end up using this for that way overpowering. Tamiya Tuesday, I saw the running of the Jägermeister. Very excited to get this thing out. Tons of fun, hoping to get a lot more running videos with it. And I got a running video of the VS410. Just kind of had a little time, so I snuck out into the garden, took this thing around, and had a little fun. I didn't have the time to really go to a spot or anything, so hey, make do with what I have. And really had a good time. Wish I could have crawled longer, so I did what I could. Larry H was wondering what I used to edit my videos. I used iMovie for my Mac. I did put a winch on here. RC Otero gave me a winch. Really appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. And I found RC Four Wheel Drive makes a mounting plate set. It's a three piece set. You can kind of use the mount that works for you. So I found the mount that would fit up and I side mounted the winch. The third lead has a roller. So yes, it may all kind of end up, all the string may end up binding up towards the end here. I don't think there's enough string to really cause an issue. I really didn't see the need to go out and spend another $90 on a winch when I had this one sitting here and the plates only cost me about 8 or $9. And I'm not comp crawling or anything, I'm not really relying on this thing to get me out. It's really kind of just for cool points and it really just looks neat in my opinion. I did order an aluminum fair lead from Shapeways. It should actually be coming in soon. So. Uh, they said the first week of October, should be getting it any day now, and once I get that, it'll just clean this front up, I think uh, everything will look really cool. Mr. Winkyhead, you wanted to know what Chief Hopper's drinking in his coffee cup. Coffee. Coming up on the channel, still got the mud truck, still loving this thing, still going to get that mud pit in good shape, and get this thing out, give it a good run. I got the beefier winch on the front, and I'm going to try to get this interior painted up, paint it black, maybe order a figure, driver figure, to go in here. Maybe not hack them up as bad as Chief Hopper. And when I was doing some test fitting, this is actually going to be a little short of the Jeep Cherokee. So I found this little piece of foam. I'm going to stick this to the back. And what this will do is close any gap between the interior and the back of the Jeep. And the last question that I've uh, seen, RC's Big Air, actually said that I answered the question when I shot the video. But the Grand Hauler and the TTO2 Subaru they are not a part of the build-offs that we do as a community. I will be a part of the Build 5. As soon as we figure out what we're building, count me in, coach. I'm ready to go. I got a webcam. So this cam, it's a Logitech. It can broadcast in 1080p. It's got a built-in microphone, all that good stuff. I threw away the box, so I forget the numbers on it. But it was around 100 bucks off Amazon. And I think I might start doing some live streaming, thinking about joining up on some of the uh, live streams that are out there. 
if they'll have me. really want to say thank you. Thank you so much to all the supporters. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you have a question you want it answered, post it on one of my videos and I will try to answer it. And I hope to catch everyone soon.